everybody. Welcome to another episode of Cap at Home. My name is Miss Allie, and today we are going to be making super fun and really easy paper hand puppets. And I have a dog and a cat here right now. They're very fun, but you can make any animal that you want, but I'm going to show you how to make a dog today. Very fun puppets. So, what we're going to need today is a full piece of paper, a lot of scrap paper, so any colors that you would like. Um, I have some black and white and some other colors. Um, and then we're going to need some scissors, a glue stick, and a pencil, and some markers or colored pencils, something to decorate with. And so once you have that all together, then we can get started on making our super fun paper hand puppets. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take our full piece of paper and we need to fold it into thirds. Sort of like if you were folding it, so it should kind of go like that. So part goes in and part goes over that. So go ahead and do that. Make sure you have a really good crease on it. And it doesn't have to be perfectly all in thirds, but as best as you can. And I'm going to fold it, and I'm going to try and make the edges line up. Kind of like this. And then, so this fold goes over top of this other fold. What we want to do is actually glue on this fold to help keep the paper in place. So go ahead and take your glue stick and glue and you can just do the corners or the edges if you want that's the really important part we want to make sure the corners are glued together so i'm just going ahead and adding some glue there and i'm going to fold this back over and press down really good so it should look like that so you just have one rectangle strip so now what we want to do is actually fold this in half so that the edges are touching. So you want to line those edges up and then go ahead and make a crease. You might have to press down on your paper to get the fold really good. All right, so you should have like this, so your paper's folded in half. So now what we want to do is take this and we're actually gonna take the top fold and fold it backwards so that this edge is going to hit this fold like this. So this edge is gonna go to this fold. So go ahead, place that there, make that crease really good. And I always like to use kind of my fingertips to make the creases really good. Um, if you don't have long nails, then you can use a ruler or have your table help you kind of make sure that fold is really good. So now we have, so it looks like this. Now we actually wanna flip it over and do the exact same thing. So this, this uh, half, we're gonna do the same thing. Take this edge and fold it up. Again, you want to make sure it's folded really good. All right, so you should look like you have a square. When you open it, it sort of looks like an M shape, like the letter M. Now you want to make sure that the side in the middle that has a fold, that's where your fingers are going to go. So if you were to go like this, the top and the bottom actually have two open spaces like that. And these are where your fingers go to actually be able to move your puppet. So again, the fold will be towards you and there's gonna be two open spots. Those are where your fingers go. So this is technically the back and the part that has just two folds or the top of the M would be the front. So now that we have that ready, we're gonna set this aside. And if you see in my examples, I have a couple different examples here I have a dog, and I have some fun floppy ears, got some eyes, nose, and a tongue. And here I have a cat, which I have some ears, but it's a different shape, pointy. We also have a nose, but we also have whiskers, and the tongue is always a fun aspect. So you can make any animal that you want, dog, cat, unicorn, dragon, 
a bunny, anything that you want. But I'm going to show you some basic steps on how to make a dog and a cat. And then you can go from there. So once you have this done, we're going to set that aside. And what I need to do is make the facial features of your dog. So your eyes, nose, mouth, ears, that basic thing. So what we want to do is take some of our scrap paper. So again, like I said, I have a few pieces set aside. And I'm actually going to draw out on two eyes. So again, I'm just drawing circles with uh, smaller circles in the middle to create eyes. You can actually just draw your eyes right on there if you don't have white paper. Or if you only have white paper, you can actually do everything on your paper and then color it later with your colored pencils or crayons or markers, whatever you have available to you. Also, feel free to draw with pencil first. I'm drawing with uh, marker so you can see what I'm drawing. So I did two eyes, and they're, paint they're pointed different directions, but that's okay because when we put it on our paper, they can we can make them look however we want. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these out. And I kind of make these big circle eyes, but you can make whatever eye shape that you want. You can make them smaller or larger. The eyes are kind of where you can have some fun because you can have really big eyes, really small eyes. You can have them really close together. You can have them really far, far apart. Kind of do however you want to make them. So I have my eyes. I'm going to set those aside. My scrap paper, I'm going to throw my basket down here. Now I need a nose. So I have, and I'm going to do kind of a dog shape. So I have my paper. I have my two eyes. And I think the nose is always sort of like, if you see in my example, it's sort of like a, a rounded trapezoid almost. So I'm going to go ahead and I have my scrap paper and I'm going to draw out a small rounded shape. And it's black on black, so I'll show you, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But I'm going to cut that out. Then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Again, you can do whatever shape that you like. I think this is the kind of easiest general dog shape. So there's my little nose. I'm going to set that aside over here. And let's see. I need, so we have eyes, nose. We're going to need some ears. I think dog ears are fun to do. Big floppy ears. Um, and so I might, let's say I have my uh, paper is purple. What color ears do we want? I have this pink paper. That might be kind of fun to do some ears. And so to make the ears the same size, what I would suggest is taking your piece of scrap paper, folding it in half, drawing the shape of your ear. So I kind of do it kind of like a really big raindrop shape if you're going to do the floppy ear route. Sort of kind of like that. And then you're going to cut this out. And the reason that we fold it in half is to make the, when we're cutting it, we're going to make the exact same shape twice. And again, it doesn't have to be a perfect shape. This is just the shape that I wanted. So I kind of have these big floppy ears. So if I place them on here, that'd be kind of fun. All right, so we have ears, eyes, nose. We need a mouth and so I like to do a tongue on these and I think it's kind of fun because when you open it up the tongue is sticking out so it looks like a small tongue here and then when you open it up it's like it's sticking its tongue out at you very fun so I have some red paper here that I'm going to again draw and I think it's sort of like if you were drawing a rectangle but one edge was rounded and I always put a line down the middle Make it sort of look like a tongue. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. And I have a tongue, so I'm going to set that aside. Another thing that you can do is if you've seen on, if you see on my example, if you're making a dog and you're making one with spots especially, you can make a kind of fun cutout shape, a spot if you want, to go on your dog. Or you can even just draw that in, so I'll show you what I mean in a second. So... Once we have our main parts of our um, dog, we can actually glue them on here. So remember that the side where you put your fingers on is technically the back. 
So you want to make sure that when you start to decorate, your um, the open part where your fingers go should be at the top. So it should be like this. So we want to make figure out where we want our eyes, which direction we want our eyes. If we want it to be looking a certain direction, if you want your, I'll show you what I mean. So if you want your eyes to be looking a certain direction, like your eyes are looking that way, if you want them to be really close together or further apart, totally up to you. So then when you figure out where you want them, you want to go ahead and glue them on there. Here's your glue stick. And then I always place the nose, our little black nose, right underneath the eyes. So kind of just like that. Go ahead and glue that on there. And then we are going to put our ears right on top, right up here on the top on the side. So you can actually just put a little glue in the top corners. All right, so far we have this, and then you can open it up. So remember, this is where your fingers go, this is the open part, and we can put your tongue right in there and so I like to kind of place it you can also make it sideways if you want I like to kind of place it so you see a little bit of it when your top is closed but then when you open it it kind of goes up a little bit more so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down and again I kind of like the uh, little sideways tongue it's kind of sticking its tongue out at you and then when you go ahead and open it, it's like a full on dog mouth. When dogs get really excited, they stick their tongues out, kind of like that. So now that we're at this point, we have our basic parts of our dog face on here. You can decorate. So using markers, colored pencils, anything that you have with you, you might want to add some, let's see, I have some spots on here. I have some like dimples. I have some spots on the backside too. You can color it. And it doesn't have to be realistic. You could make it any color or shapes that you want. So uh, let's say I was kind of talking about making a spot around its eyes. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and fill that in with marker. I'll show you what I mean. Maybe I make some, a few other spots. I have a spotted purple dog because why not? You can use any colors that you want. So you can make a rainbow dog if you wanted. All right, so I've started to add some um, spots in here. All right, and what, so I started to do that with my one marker. Another thing I might want to do is I have kind of my one ear outline, so maybe I want to add some lines on here to kind of show the fur or the movement of the ear, sort of like that. I always make sure I put a line down the tongue, show the, where the middle of the tongue is. Another thing you can do is add a few little dots on here by the uh, nose. You could also add, if you wanted to add a few eyelashes on your dog, you could do that. And if you really want to get crazy with it, you could decorate the whole piece of paper. And But when you open it, so let me show you. When you open it, the inside's plain except for the tongue, right? So... You could even add a little message here if you wanted. It could say a wolf for dog, or it could have a little message. You could decorate the inside if you wanted as well. So this is what our little dog looks like. And now if you were gonna make a cat, it's the same process, except you just make some different facial features. So we'd wanna make 
some pointy ears for a cat, so some triangles. And we pretty much have the same nose shape and the same tongue shape. We still want two eyes. But another thing that we want to add is if you look at a cat, they have whiskers. So I kind of added this one little area and put some, cut out some small rectangles to make some whiskers. So that makes kind of a little bit different sort of shape. You can also make um, any sort of animal that you want, bunny, dragon. Um, you could make a unicorn. That would be kind of cool. So just think about, get creative with it. And then again, you can decorate it however you want. If you want to color it in, add some spots. It doesn't even have to be spots. You could add a... Uh, you could add some really cool um, designs on the inside if you wanted. So I'll show you what I mean about. So if I was going to put a little message on the inside, this is what I would probably do. Again, you can decorate, use as many colors as you want. So it's a surprise message. So when you're using your puppet, so cute, woof. So then I would recommend making more than one so that you can have one on one hand, one on the other, put on your own little puppet show. You can play with them, and then if you and your friends make a couple, or you and your siblings, then you could have a whole sea of different animals, and you guys can act out things, see how they interact, make sure to name your puppets, um, and see, and play with them, and really see what you can come up with. So, before we're finished, we want to make sure that we clean up, so, want to make sure that our uh, glue stick has its cap on, any small scraps we want to toss. Um, if you used markers, you want to make sure that all of those have caps on them. And if there's other scrap paper that's big enough to keep, you want to make sure to save that because here at Cap at Home, we love using scrap paper in our other projects. And then when you're done, you can have put on a little show with all of your little dog and cat puppets. Super fun, really easy to make. Make a bunch of them. And if you make a bunch of them, take pictures of them, send them to us so we can see what you did. Throw in the name. If you named your puppets, that would be awesome. We'd love to see what you made. And then you're all set. So thank you for watching this Cap at Home episode. Again, my name is Miss Allie, and we made some dog and cat paper hand puppets. Stay tuned at 1 and 2 p.m. for some more awesome projects. And make sure to watch any of our other videos which we have on our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram channel. Thanks so much.